Ayo hey guys, what's up? It's me, Fangbanger. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you another We Play I Pay. But first, before we get started with that, I decided 25,000 coins. We got some kind of crazy awesome looking pack. It's all beautiful for the Chinese New Year, apparently. And I was like, um, I guess I might as well go ahead and give this a try. I mean, I've got a little bit of coins. Who knows? I could get something awesome out of it. What the hell? YOLO. Let's go ahead and do it. And guess what? It happened to be one of the best decisions I've made in the weeks coming. My gosh. Team of the week player on top of that inform player worth 100,000 coins as well as the QPR Rime. Holy shit. Best pack I have ever gotten on FIFA at any point whenever I did my stupid season pass pack openings and GameStop pre-order pack openings that I thought to myself, like, these are just terrible. EA sucks. You troll me. You're terrible. Well, they just smacked me right in the face because I open up one of these 25,000 coin packs and voila, I get the J. I guess that's how you say his name. It kind of looks like the gay to me. Ha <laughs> ha. But um, yeah, so I was really, really freaking excited about this and it was just freaking amazing. I don't even know how to explain it because I needed those coins and I needed some kind of like hype to get me back into FIFA packs and open them again. And of course, you know, you always hit the jackpot, even though this isn't like, you know, godly jackpot. This is not a team of the year where I'm getting millions of coins. I at least get probably like 100k off of him and I am super excited about that. But back to where we need to be, which is the we play I pay. It's a pretty much challenge where I pick a viewer either from stream or from what I did yesterday on our pickup lines video. Look at his team before I get into this. He had a Brazilian skillage, pacey, awesome team. Just letting you know, I'm using my Ecuadorks. I'm not going to give you a preview of what they look like because the video on them is going to be out tomorrow. Just letting you know, it's a team full of Ecuador players with like a hybrid. They don't have any type of defense, so I had to do some type of hybrid uh, kind of where it's like a Liga MX or MX and a MLS, maybe like one MLS player to make it work. But it worked. That's coming out tomorrow, though. Um, we did do a pickup line challenge, though, this time. Sometimes I picked them in the streams, but I couldn't get the stream done to get it or to do it, so we did a pickup line challenge. And this was my winner. His name on YouTube was L O L O L O, I guess, lol lol lol, 444. And he said to me, Are you from Ireland? Because my penis be Dublin. Now, I think that there was maybe, I went back after I picked this winner, and there was like a PS3 guy who said this as well, so yeah, there was a lot of repetitiveness in this, and I happened to just see this one first. Sometimes that's how life works, but I can't play the PS3 winner anyway, and possibly if my PS3 winner doesn't get back to me, maybe I'll do the other giveaway to that guy. Anyway, thought that was hilarious, thought that was the best one, there was really good ones, you guys did a really good job of this, and so I just like went with what I could do and this is what I got his screen name is I be trolling or his gamer tag is and I had a game or a match up against him that was really frustrating I'm just gonna throw this out there this is like my time during this we play I pay to rant um, let me ex explain we play I pay if you haven't seen the other video it is a pretty much like maybe once a week or more than once a week I don't know yet I'm seeing how it ends up and how the series you know does he scores on me right here Oh my gosh, no matter how many times I'm going off, I'm off topic, no matter how many times on this game with this team that I have that I tried to defend the ball and I did it, I, I made brilliant tackles, I made so many tackles on him, I always knew where he was going, I read it, but my player, I guess they didn't have the work rate, my players never got the ball back after they got the tackle, it went like this all game, or like the ball went flying forward, like if you just see what happened right there. So I was getting so frustrated. He was a good player. He did. He was really good at skill moves, even though sometimes he did them when it didn't really matter. Um, he, with David Luiz, oh my God, like he kept skilling me with him and it was really annoying. Uh, but no matter what I did, I just didn't have a shot. For some reason, my defense just would not come together in this game. And we could, you know, throw it out there that I suck and all that. I could hear that a million times. But honestly, I literally read his every move. It was like one of those games where I was like, I know exactly what he's going to do. And no matter what, I couldn't stop it. Like, right there. Like, I got the ball back. I'm like, I mean, I have so many chances. Everything I'm doing to block it, and he's still getting wide open. I think it's because his team was better, obviously. He might have been a better player. And the work rate of my players was absolute shiza. But um, I went into this match. And what it is, is I will pick someone to play against me. And it's not a wager match because I don't want you to have to give me anything. 
Uh, maybe at some point I might do like a wager series if y'all are interested in that. But it's really more of like a me trying to give back to the FIFA community. And I pick somebody, whether it be via stream, whether it be a contest like I did, and I choose that we're going to play against each other. And I was going to make it kind of like where you had to beat me by a significant amount, like two goals or maybe three goals. But I realized I am a little bit better at this FIFA, believe it or not, than I was the last FIFA. Although the last FIFA, I was so godly at headers. It was ridiculous. I can't do them in this one. But um, I chose him. For this one and so he gets to play me if he beats me which he is beating me then um, he gets 10,000 coins and what you'll do after that is once you play me um, you'll get 10,000 coins you'll put a card up I'll buy it I guess it kind of doesn't give you the full 10,000 I need to start having people put up for like 10,200 because we know we have the FIFA tax which is redonkulous but um, if you don't win um, you just get embarrassed because you get to be on my channel and me beating you at some point I'm gonna find somebody who I'm just going to beat the living shit out of. It didn't work out on this one. I am still learning. This is my second game played with this team. I have to play with them all day because i got to put a video out for them tomorrow. So after my doctor's appointment and after I get my stupid new tires, i got to go into pretty much playing and hoping that I get some crazy nasty goals, which I should be able to do. But um, in this match, you know, like, look, he did a slide tackle. This happened to me multiple times. I'm trying to do, like, cuts and, you know, left trigger, right trigger, trying to get around him. And he would just throw his players at me and always take the ball away from me, which is, you know, I can, ex I can see that happening because he had a better defense than me. Um, but I had a lot of opportunities. I believe I dominated this game um, with statistics or statistics-wise, if you looked at it. Um, I think it ended with me being in possession 53% of the time. Um, me having higher shot on goal percentage, everything like was set for me to win this game and the way I was playing, but I just couldn't pull it off. I don't know. I couldn't score a goal. I had some opportunities. I had this one goal where I tried to score and I, or a shot that I tried to score. And at some point, like, I think it happens right here. Maybe I don't know where it happens, but at some point I kick it and the keeper actually grabs the ball behind the line. Like, grabs the ball behind the line, and yet he still gets it, and it doesn't count it as a goal. So I had to go through a lot of this. He was really sweaty at some points. He got really sweaty. Like, if he used Pateau and he got around me, I was pretty much screwed. But I think it was a really nice game. I mean, he did really well. Um, his players were superior, but I can't make excuses, okay? So I'm going to continue to do this. Um, I need some input on what y'all think I should do with this series, like if you like how I'm doing it. Right now I only showed the second half of the game because I do not want to be talking for like 16 or 18 minutes or ever, however long the game normally lasts. So I went ahead and I only showed, holy shit, he almost scored a goal right there. That would have been ridiculous. I only showed the second half of the game. If y'all think it would be better if like we shorten it up a little bit and we only do highlights and maybe I do like a play-by-play -play or if we only do like... Where I, I guess the second half, if that's okay, if you want to see that. But if there's a lot of scoring the first and second half, obviously I'm going to have to more highlight the game. Um, but just let me know what y'all think on that. Should I be using my team that I'm using for the week to do FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Girl Style? Or should I use my hardest team, my, Bra my Brazilians, you know, the gold zillionaires that I usually always beat a lot of people with? Um, or how I should pick people. Did y'all enjoy the pickup line challenge? Do you want to see other challenges? These are a lot of ideas that I can use for this series. I should have scored that goal. That was my one shot. That was my time to shine. It's the 90th minute right here. Take a look at this. This is so heartbreaking when this happens. Like, eh, just over. I even pressed right bumper so I could do, like, the power header, and it didn't go in. He ended up winning this game, though. Any ideas from y'all would be amazing because, obviously, I want to make it something that you want to see and something that you want to do and be a part of. It's totally for y'all. You get to be, you know, on my channel, which everybody's always saying, you know, I need a shout-out. You know, can you give me a shout-out? Can I be on your channel um, and whatnot? And I'm just letting you know that you can be if you get a chance to be in this. Not to mention I might have other things that come up in the future that might be like a series where I do shout-outs for people, but we'll see exactly how that goes. He ended up winning, though, so we did our whole, you know, GG, good game. Me, I'm, like, raging at the end. And uh, he put up one of his cards. I bought it for 10,000 coins. That's pretty much how it works. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. My pack today was freaking awesome. And until next time, get bang bang, nerds.